Okay, so here we are in the engine bay. Hope you guys can see me. And uh, let's go ahead and just start this. I'm actually just gonna start a time lapse and then we're gonna go ahead and try to move all the seam sealer. And let me actually get the camera again. And let's go ahead and try to remove all of the seam sealer here. And I tried to do, I tried to do this already. Um, I use a razor blade to just get off, but we're gonna go ahead and use the wire wheel and just move all of this right here, uh, whatever's here, and just clean up all of this, and then uh, see how far we get. Hopefully, I should be able to just blast through everything, and look how ugly all of this seam sealer is. It's gonna look disgusting. But yeah, like I said, I'm not really into shaving engine bays. Uh, I like the look right here, and I like to be able to access these screws right here if I need to. Uh, to mount anything so I just like the really clean look and the kind of tuck wire look so let's go ahead and just start going and hopefully we should get it done and once I'm done with that I want to try to bash this right here so it looks like I have to hit this up to be straight kind of um, hit this area right here I think or this it needs to be straighter you can see it's crinkled here uh, where this side is a lot smoother so we'll go back and look right here. So I'll have to just hit this smooth. Uh, probably just hit this part right here and then this and then try to take this off again like I said. And once I remove this then it'll be so much easier to just work in the engine bay as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that and see how far I get. So I'm just gonna hit the time lapse and then we're just gonna go ahead and time lapse everything and you guys can see uh, the whole process. All right guys, this wheel works so good. It takes it off like butter. And you can see right here, look at all of this. It's removed so nice, super clean. 
Um, all of the old stuff right here is gone too. Actually took it to bare metal real nice. So, you know, I'm actually thinking about uh, doing the whole engine bay like this now because if I could take it down to bare metal, I could primer it a lot better. The only issue I'm coming up with is this right here. So these little tight spots, I don't know. Uh, probably have to get the other wheel that it's vertical. Um, I'm also like these corners right here. I'm not able to hit it, but man, it took it off beautifully right here. Look at that nice and clean uh, not much else is still on there it took it off uh, really good so now I just have to primer so it won't rust but yeah it's taking off everything right here I don't know if I should have hit this spot right here but I have to to get all of this old gunk off um, it's okay we'll probably just repaint all of this anyways and then um, have all of these little stuff that came off real nice so yeah it's pretty good it's made a big mess though as you can see here there is dust everywhere on the ground all over my face all over my body and uh, it's just everywhere but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just blow through what i can today and then i'll update you guys in a bit so you guys can see uh just the process and yeah let's go ahead and see what we could do i'm interested to hit the wheel on this to see if it'll actually come out real clean um, I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about removing this and relocating the battery to the back. So that might be something that I'm looking into doing anyway. So uh, we'll go ahead and hit it anyways. And if I have space, maybe I'll just keep the battery here just because it makes everything a lot easier to do. So yeah, let's go ahead and take it out. Oh yeah, so and I actually nicked this and it kind of damaged it. So I'm gonna drill this out and then take it out so I can put it back later. But yeah, that's probably what I have to do today, but it's turning out real good. I'm really happy about this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and I'll update you guys when I'm done. All right guys, so I got most of the stuff off or not really most, but a lot of it off. And I'll show you guys right here. So all of this is really clean now. All of this is off right here. And then I got this, all of this right here. And I didn't drill this out yet. I'll probably do it another day. And then I started doing this side. Got all of this off right here. And then I did do this and it came out pretty good. I hit some of the rust here that was like bubbling up and it actually was just surface rust. So I'm really happy about that. Um, there's all this other stuff. I did this part right here. So you can see there's a lot of seam sealer in the crack still, which might not be a big deal because I'm gonna hit it with seam sealer again. So I don't think I'm gonna be too concerned about uh, little stuff that's in the crack because it's gonna get filled up again and that's okay. But I will try to prep it and clean it as much as I can. I'm gonna get the other wheel, like I said, the vertical wheel. I think that's gonna hit a lot of spots that I can't right now. And then um, I also did this whole front end right here. So you can see all of this is bare metal now all the way up to here and it looks so good so this engine bay or this whole car in general is gonna take a long time but I think at the end it's gonna be so worth it um yeah I really banged up this right here though oh man I didn't think I hit it that bad but I should probably take this out as you can see it's getting pretty damaged and that really sucks I don't know if I could order a new one, but I should have took it off. I'll probably take it off right now just to kind of put it away for now and then uh, do that. But I don't think I'm going to paint it. I think I'm actually going to hit this whole engine bay with some WD-40, give it some oil and just wipe it down. That way, if I have to clean it up again, it's a lot easier than uh, sanding it down. And I know where I still need to work on. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm just going to go ahead and oil it all down. So. Let me go ahead and just spray it like that. And then just gonna go ahead and wipe it down. This lot where well, the body guys do, they just spray it with oil or some type of oil. But I think this should be good enough for it to not rust over. And we're just gonna do that. So yeah, let me go ahead and finish this up and then uh, I'll get back to you guys. A few moments later. All right guys, the engine bay is nice and oiled up and hopefully it prevents it from rusting. Like I said, I don't wanna waste money on paint because it's expensive and it's just gonna take a lot of time to take it off again. And uh, WD-40 is actually very expensive now. This little can right here was around $7 just for this can and um, it sucks, but everything is getting so expensive now. But look at this, nice and clean. 
nice and oiled up everything looks good kind of makes me wonder how the engine bay would look like if i brought it to bare metal and just clear coated it but i don't think that's going to be a good idea it's just too much room for error and rust to build up but it looks really good so happy that that wheel was able to take all this off and like i said i'll probably use it to take all of it off to bare metal and then go ahead and just primer it after that so i'm thinking about using a gun um i'm gonna have to save up and buy a gun first but i could primer it at least with uh cans once we're ready to paint i'll do a seal of coat and then just go ahead and paint over it i'm going to be doing single stage just because like i said my skill level of painting is low and single stage paint job is more forgiving so i'm going to be using single stage paint job on on this whole car so uh, it's a little bit cheaper too because i do plan to paint the whole car and that's going to save me a lot of money in the long end but hopefully it still looks good. It's not going to be like a pearlescent paint job or anything. So I think a single stage should be good enough. And um, yeah, this is it guys. So um, hopefully I'll come back tomorrow and try to finish up as much as I can. And just keep grinding away. This car is going to take a lot of time. But all that hard work, like I said, it's going to be so worth it. But yeah, hope you guys liked it guys. Stay tuned for more content. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.